Yeah, All right, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Keith, I want you to appease me a little bit. I want to have a little fun with you, right? Obviously, okay. you're a wrestling genius. I go you know your resume. Time. And, again, incredibly honored to have you on the show. We put together something called Grilling Greenberg, where I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You're going to answer it, right or wrong, and we'll see how well you do, okay? I usually do very badly at these. Well, we'll see. I don't. I honestly don't think you'll do that poorly at it, but let's see. Are you ready for question one? Yeah. Grilling Greenberg. Who was Fred Blassie's first intercontinental champion as a manager? Okay. Did he have Pat Patterson? Take your time. Hold on. Uh, no, that was, would have been the wizard with Pat Patterson. Um, well, that's a good one. Um, he, uh, DiBiase was a baby face then. Um, Spiros. I don't know. I don't know. All right. What's the answer, Abe? That would be <clears throat> no one. Fred Blassie never managed an intercontinental champion. Then he's a little tricky. You're right. A little I tricky. think of anyone. <laughs> a little tricky. All it's right. A trick question. Yeah. So I was right, actually. You were actually right. You want to change that to a ding? So, yeah. Ah, producer gives you a bit. Look good. at that. One for one. Question two. Who holds the record for the longest single WWE championship reign? Uh, Bruno. Producer? Yeah, Bruno. There you go. <laughs> Keith, you're killing it. You're two for two right now. All right, gets a little tougher. Yeah. Who won the first ever Royal Rumble match in 1988? Um, was it Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Producer? Oh! There you go. Damn. All right. We got to get tough right here, Keith. This is like softball season for you. This is nothing. All right. Who did Ric Flair defeat to win his first ever? NWA World Championship. That would have been um, Dusty. No, Dusty Rhodes. Producer. No, no. Sorry. sorry. What? Wait. Yeah, Dusty. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, good job, Keith. Well done. 81, 1981, I think. Not bad. It was in. It was at Memorial Hall in Kansas City. Kansas. All right. Question five. What was the original name of the stable that eventually became known as the New World Order? The Outsiders. Producer? Keith, you're killing it, man. This isn't right. God, I got, I got to ask tougher questions. Number six. Who did Sting face in his first ever match in WCW? First match in WCW? Oh my goodness. Because he would have been established. That is a good question. Hold on. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking that would have been when he came over from the UWF. Uh, could, I'm, I'm going to guess Eddie Gilbert, but I'm probably wrong. Producer. A oh, Rick Flair? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's fact because I know all about the clash of the champions with Ric Flair, but that could not have possibly been Sting's first match in WCW because he came over when Bill Watts sold the company. But anyway, okay. Well, well, let's think about it this way, Keith. It could be a bit of a trick question, right? Because he came over when it was still the NWA, right? And then that's true. It switched over to WCW, so Sting was already established. Right, and I think 1988, they were still calling it the NWA. But anyway, okay, good. Okay, All right, next. so far so good, though, doing very well. This one's a little bit tough. Number seven, who won the ever first ever WWE King of the Ring tournament? Harley Race. Producer? Ah, oh, Morocco. Magnificent the Morocco. The second one, right, okay. Key thoughts on Don Morocco? I think he was great. I mean, that's a guy, you know, we're talking about Roman Reigns. Think about uh, if Mo Morocco at his prime in this era, 
the kind of matches he could have had with Roman Reigns, how evenly matched they would be. Like two bulls just kind of goring each other. Yeah. Huge Morocco guy. Sometimes yeah. I don't think he gets enough love, that's for sure. Oh, he definitely doesn't. I remember watching a match when he was Intercontinental Champion against Rocky Johnson in Madison Square Garden. And I think it was a Broadway. Like the time was ticking down. Rocky kept rallying. You know, he'd almost beat Morocco. And then he had him beat. And it was one, two, ding, 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 yeah. ding. And yeah. uh, it was just great. How great was Wrestler back then, man? I was I think I was there live for that one. I, I gotta try to think of it. Question eight. Who was the longest reigning WWE Divas champion? Divas champion. Divas champion was uh I don't know. Was was yeah was uh Trish Stratus perhaps? Producer? Oh, oh Nikki Bella. See, Keith is doing great, got... though. These are a little tough. All right, question nine. Which tag team did the Dudley boys defeat to win their first WWE Tag Team Championship? I'm guessing. This is a guess. Um, I'm going to say uh, the Hardys. Producer. There you go. Nice job, man. All right, final question, Keith. Who was the first wrestler to win the WWE Triple Crown? That's a WWE Championship, Intercontinental title, and Tag Team title. The first ever. Red Hart? You want to check that? Oh, Pedro, Pedro Morales! Morales. <laughs> and now you're right. Pedro Morales was the tag team champion with Bob Backlund. They that won is correct. That Shea Stadium, sure right? And they had to immediately relinquish the titles. Now, that was, even though I got a bunch of them wrong, that was really fun. You did you did excellent, and I thank you for, for, jo <laughs> for, for joining and being such a good sport. And, uh, Keith, I want to, we're almost out of time. I really, as a wrestling fan, I want to say this before you go. I want to thank you for what you've done for the industry and what you've done for wrestling fans from all over the world. Um, in a society in itself where negativity is, is mainstream now, it seems to be the flavor, you come on whenever you're on these documentaries, whenever you're on these shows, you always bring a positive nature and... Um, Thank you for making a difference for fans like myself. And thank you for what you're doing. And I really appreciate this forum. And I think we're both in the same category. We're both, you know, when you're talking about the wrestling you watched as a kid and we're around the same age, you know, there's love there behind that. And I think, you know, that just, it, you know, it emanates from you. And I think that's why the show is so much fun. Well, Keith, I, those are very kind words, and I thank you for that. I'm humbled by your words. Keith, I have to ask you this one final question. I am putting you on the spot. We talked about my first wife and what I did, my wedding. Did How often did wrestling interfere with your romantic life? Um, it still does. <laughs> you know, for a while, there was a... Uh, there, there was a... Um, a bar in Brooklyn called DDT. They've since uh, relocated to Las Vegas. They're reopening uh, early in 2024. And um, if I was having a first date with someone, I would usually just tell them, come meet me at DDT. So the attitude was, well, if they're running late or they don't show up, then I can just watch wrestling. Unfortunately, sometimes they would show up and I was so immersed in the wrestling, I prioritized that over the first day. So <laughs> I would say that, uh, that, you know, wrestling seems to overshadow everything. Was, was there a point where a girl would go up to you and be like, oh, hi, Keith, are you Keith? And were you like, no, I'm not, but thank you. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> but there was one time when a woman met me there 
And um, she, you know, so we were hanging out and there was a, a, a the, and the main event came on as she was leaving. So I kissed her goodbye and she was walking out the door and um, I said, oh, this is the main event. I'm like, oh, good. Thank God she left. And I got a text from her. I heard that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Keith, I want to thank you again. Um, I'm wishing you happy holidays. And again, happy you're holidays an icon. You. God bless. Okay. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.